any businesses on the island that rely on trucking, and those costs will eventually trickle down to you, the consumer. News 12's Andrew Anger live in Farmingdale, where the, boy, the headaches continue for Long Islanders trying to run a business, Andrew. You know, Doug, if you think gas prices are high now, check this out right here. Look at this price for diesel, $6.49 a gallon. That's two, more than $2 more a gallon than regular gasoline. And for businesses and truckers who use diesels, well, they're truly feeling the pain at the pump. Main Street Wholesale Meats in Farmingdale has about 14 delivery trucks. The majority of them use diesel. Company owner Lee Selig says each week his fuel bill goes up. Yeah, it's up like 20, 30 percent. There's nothing you can do about it. Diesel is at an all-time high in the U.S. On Long Island, the AAA says it's averaging 6.33 a gallon. A year ago, it was almost half that at 3.20 a gallon. The problem is, is there's just not enough number one uh, diesel to meet that demand. Fuel expert Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy says diesel supply is at a 30-year low on the East Coast. He blames reduced refining capacity in the U.S., the war in Ukraine, and higher demand for diesel in Europe and South America. And that's why we're seeing diesel prices explode in the Northeast. And the unfortunate part is it probably won't get meaningfully better for quite some time. That's not good news for restaurant owner Joe Fortuna, who says he's seeing some food distributors add on fuel surcharges. It's a constant struggle. So not only do we have to deal with the increase in the, the product cost and the food cost, now we have like the extra surcharges. Main Street Meat says it's trying not to pass on extra fuel charges to its customers right now, but is trying to be more efficient with orders and making fewer small deliveries. Try to get our customers to consolidate orders if they can. Instead of ordering four times a week, maybe order two days a week. Uh, also, we can do things with our routing to try to maximize the fuel as much as possible. Now, that meat distributor is actually asking his truck drivers to stop idling as much. Anything they can do to save a little bit of diesel to hopefully reduce their cost. But there could be some bright news on the horizon. You know, next month, New York State is ending its tax on gasoline and diesel. We'll see if that uh, helps out at all. For now, in Farmingdale, Andrew Anger, News 12, Long Island.